Anyway, they're a two star. They're at $236.71 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $268.70 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, today we are going through the March 18th through March 22nd of 2024 winning stocks. Those are those that are on my watch list, which pretty much held their value or were moving up as for this week. So I want to break that down. As we know, I usually start with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ. And the reason I start with those three is because those three represent what the entire market has been doing. So we see the S&P 500 has been on a tear. Each of these candles represent a week. These are weekly candles. So we see it's moved up a bunch of weeks here, then one red candle, and sort of went down a little, moved up a bunch more, another red candle, three more weeks, then we had a red candle the previous week, and this week was another positive week. So the S&P 500 is moving up, sort of breaking records. If we look at the Dow, we sort of see a similar thing. We saw two red weeks here, but then we had a green week. It lost a little ground, but it sort of moved up this week. And lastly, we have the NASDAQ, where the same thing moved up a bunch of weeks. One red week, it moved down. Another red week up here. Then we had two negative weeks, but a positive week this last week. So it's climbing a little slower now, but it's still continuing to climb. So where are the stocks that are on our watch list? Well, we start with Marriott Vacations. We know the stocks on my watch list. I break down into three tiers. Three stars is the most fundamentally sound company. Two stars is a little under that. And one star is the least fundamentally sound, but still fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list just the least fundamentally sound of the three. Marriott Vacations is a one star. It's currently at $98.89 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $112 a share in the next 12 months. We see that it's been moving up for one, two, three, four, five, six of the last seven weeks. This week was a red candle down a little bit. But, and the last week was something of a doji. We have Forward Air. Now, Forward Air, it dropped dramatically for three weeks. And we actually were looking at it when it was around here at $60. But now it's dropped a lot further. And it's all the way down to $29.15 a share. One green candle last week. So we want to see if it finally starts to move back up or if it continues to drop. But with it being at $29.15 a share, Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $39.80 in the next 12 months. This is a three star. And they have an earnings report coming out on April 29th or that week. And as we know, an earnings report is sort of like going to a casino. 
if it comes out and it's a good earnings report, the price of the stock will jump up. And if it comes out and it's a bad earnings report, the price of the stock will drop dramatically. The only problem is we don't know what kind of earnings report it's going to be. And actually, it's illegal to know that. Because if you were to find out beforehand what the earnings report was going to be, and you were to trade based on that, that's actually called insider trading and could land you in jail. It's what Martha Stewart was accused of. So, as we go to our next one, it's Advanced 6. Advanced 6 is a two-star, currently at $26.74 a share. Yahoo Analysts estimate they can move up to $37.33 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they moved up a little bit here, big move here. Then they dropped one, two, three, four weeks. Now, this last week, we saw a green candle. But we want to know, are they going to start to move up or drop again? Now, sometimes, guys, you may wait until maybe Monday, see how the market opens. The stock starts to move up, so you buy it. Then it starts to drop. What do you do? I always tell people, don't get married to a stock. You're expecting it to go up and it starts dropping on you. Maybe you hold on for a little while because you never know. It may start to drop midday. It may go up by the end of the day. But if you're holding it a couple of days and it's dropping, for me, I just let it go and look for the next opportunity. We have Hershey. Hershey is a three-star. Currently at $197.99 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $212.57 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on April 25th or that week of. And we see they moved up. up. We see they moved up a little and down. Came up a little, maybe a, two weeks ago. Then the previous week it was red, a little down. This last week, it came up some, but even though it was a positive week, it retreated back halfway by the end of the week, probably Friday. We want to see what they do going into this next week. Darling Ingredients. They are a two-star, currently at $45.34. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $64.35 in the next 12 months. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. We see not big moves, small moves, but six positive candles. That means moving up little by little for the last six weeks. Archer Daniels Midland. And we see this company dropped significantly back here. Now they've started to move up a little, particularly these last two weeks. They are a one star. 
currently at $62 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $64 a share in the next 12 months. They're almost at that now, but there's no guarantee that that's the highest they'll move. That's just what Yahoo's analysts estimate. Maybe they'll move higher. They are putting out an earnings report on April 23rd. We have Devon Energy, an energy company, currently at $48.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $53.88 a share in the next 12 months. They have been positive, one, two, seven, the last seven weeks. Only slight moves, but moving up steadily for the last seven weeks. Humana, they are a two-star. They have an earnings report coming out on April 24th, and they're currently at $348.54 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $408.44 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they had a positive candle the previous week and this week it was slightly positive but still a positive candle so we want to see if they're going to start to drop again like they did for so many weeks or if they're going to start to move up at this stage exxon mobile they are a one star and they have an earnings report right around the corner coming out on April 3rd, they are currently at $113.49 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $124.48 a share in the next 12 months. And they've been getting green candles, one, two, three, four, for the last six weeks. Moving up slightly for the last six weeks. National Research Corporation. They have an earnings report coming out on April 30th. They're currently $39.98 a share. They're a two-star. Yahoo analysts estimate. Well, actually, Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate. But my estimate, based on P.E. ratio, is that they can move up to around $46.51 a share in the next 12 months. They had one, two, three, four, five positive weeks. Then we saw a negative week. This week they started down here and moved slightly back up. So we want to see what they do going into next week. Do they drop? Do they continue to move sideways? Or do they start to move up? Air Products and Chemicals. They actually had a negative week. But they were moving up one. Remember, they dropped dramatically when it was due to the earnings report. Then they were moving up one, two three, four, five straight weeks. And I actually had an option on this. It was mentioned in this week's option picks. And then they started to drop this week. So I actually sold the option. Anyway, they're a two star. They're at $236.71 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $268.70 a share in the next 12 months. But having said that, 
let's take a little look and see what happened with that option. At one point, with that option, I was up to around 136%. But in any event, I bought the option on February 9th and sold it on March 19th, a little over a month. I bought it for $1,320.66, and I sold it for $2,719.32. That was a gain of $1,398.66. And a 105.90% gain in a little over a month. Now, we know that in February, I was still doing this week's option picks on the YouTube channel. Now, I do this month's option pick on the YouTube channel. But this week's option picks has moved into my Patreon channel, which you're all free to join. It's a small $25 a month. And let's look at some of the option picks that ended up in this week's option picks. The last one that I did in this week's option picks was like, one day before February was over, February 28th, MGP Ingredients, and I sold it on March 6th, and that was because I didn't like the way it was moving. Bought it for $860.66, sold it for $927.33. That was a 66 point. 67 cent gain or a 7.74 percent gain in seven or eight in around eight days i would say then i had well this one was bought in march so i can't really show the name to those who are not part of the patreon channel but if you're in the Patreon channel, you will not only see videos, but you'll also be added to the WhatsApp group where you will get live up to the minute updates on what I'm doing in my brokerage account that you can also do in yours. In any event, bought this option on March 8th for $1,150.66. Sold it on March 12th, four days later, for $1,224.33. That was a 73.67% gain, or a 6.40% gain in four days. Now I hear a lot of financial experts out here telling you in the stock market, you can make 10% a year in the stock market. Here we're talking about 6% in four days. We're talking about 7% in eight days. And these are on options plays that went bad. These aren't even the ones that stood up and did what they should do. The ones that stood up and did what they should do 105.90% in a month and 10 days. In any event, we have this next one, also bought in March, and it was bought for $1,729.32, currently up to $1,811.50. Didn't sell this one yet, still own it. But it's up 4.75%. That's $82.18 in five days. 
It was actually up 20 some percent, but the stock dropped back Friday. So we want to see what it does going into this next week. And here's this one. Bought 11 days ago for $839.32. And as of now, it's worth $1,333.34. That's a $494.02 gain in 11 days. That's a 58.85% gain in 11 days. And I still own it and hoping it will continue to increase. And like I said, guys, all of these option picks are um, told to you in the Patreon channel. For a mere $25 a month, consider a $494.02 gain in 11 days for $25. You'll have up to the, up to the minute um, updates on what's going on. Going to your WhatsApp, you could check them whether you're at work or whatever, sitting at your desk or at lunch or whatever. You can... Um, you'll receive the notification on what things are going on and you can make these same kinds of trades. So in any event, if you go to the homepage of my YouTube channel, Uncle Dwayne's Watchlist, you'll see the Patreon link. You can go inside of the Patreon, click on the Patreon link and go in there and, and um, you can pay the $25 will be first five days for free to join this week's option picks. Once you do that, please send me an email to Uncle Dwayne's watchlist at gmail.com and include in the email your name and phone number so that I can send you an invite to the WhatsApp group. And if you don't have WhatsApp on your phone, you want to install that. In any event, the next one we have is AMN Healthcare Services. They are a two-star, currently at $63.93 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $77.43 a share in the next 12 months. And notice that they've been moving up for three of the last four weeks. Lastly, we have Malibu Boats. And Malibu Boats is a three star. They've been dropping steadily. But now they have a green candle. But we had a green candle here. They continue to drop. Green candle here. They continue to drop. Green candle here. They continue to drop. We want to see if they're continuing to drop from here. Or are they going to start to maybe move sideways. Or move up. Like I said, they're currently at $40.67 a share. They're a three-star. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $48.29 a share in the next 12 months. In any event, that's it for this week's winning stocks, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video, and you have a great week.